Hey, what's up, y'all? So I got a clip for y'all. And this time, it's Curry, Mark Curry. He's going at Diddy, exposing him. So make sure to watch this clip. And then, I'm going to come back with my commentary. So everything you can imagine is real. So when you have this kind of situation, it, it may be a real situation, but it's not one for us to come back and judge on and be like, you know, he's wrong for this or... You know, the, the people who's accusing him, it's a whole bunch of people that's coming out and saying, it's people that's coming out saying that uh, Easy Mo B, big shout out, Easy Mo. Um, it's another, uh, someone else, um, another producer that came out and said that Puff had had them black, um, blacklisted or he um, made it you know difficult for them to survive in life as being who they were because they didn't have an agreement with him on a business agreement all right so cool black this like blacklisted but it's another word i've been on that list for a long time and i don't care i don't really care because my life is not going to be judged by how other people want to judge a system. I'm not in the Grammys. I'm not in the BET Awards. I'm not in none of them award shows. So that means my life is not being judged by, look, I'm in the Sprinter Van Awards. I, let's go. Who want to go to the airport? We're going to fix that. But I'm just saying, it's crazy. So people like, yeah, this Puff thing. I think that the, the, you know, media and things have a lot of power over, even though a lot of stories may seem to be true. Even if it was true, there are people who are openly happy and proud with their lives that live the same lifestyle. So you have people who, you know, who live that and that's, they like it, but you, they, they may say like, what's wrong with us liking the things that we like? And there's nothing wrong with people liking whatever that they like because people have the right to, to like whatever they want. And we should not be people who sit back and say that you're wrong because you like a certain thing. It's just that's what your life is. Me, I like what I like is the woman that I'm with right now. And that's just that. And sometimes it's hard even letting her understand that because she thinks that other women mean more to me than her. And I'd be like, don't no other woman mean more to me than you because no other woman has been, a female has ever been through the struggle with me and understand me the way that we done. Even every flaw about me, everything, that's just what life is about, right? So then look, so we look at life, right? And we look at things. And then we look at, do we pass a judgment on it or do we just say, hey, you know what? I see what they do in the puff. And they... You know, the dude said that he, he showed him a video of him and Stevie J or Stevie J and somebody else having of course, another male. And then later come back to say it wasn't Stevie J. But that was an old video that people already knew that, hey, they was already trying to slander sleeve Stevie and throw false information out. So stevie i guess have responded and said you know that's not me and made them understand like everybody correct yourself so if the person who is saying that he saw all of this and he said he saw stevie and it wasn't stevie we got to start questioning the, the 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 truth in it the truth in it he said it was, he said it was Stevie, whatever it may be, then it wasn't Stevie. So damn, if it wasn't Stevie, was it really not Puffy? Let's hope the brother get through it because the brother going through it right now. And all of it may seem to be true, but don't, uh, I don't know. They said that they he introduced them to somebody on a yacht in Vegas. I'm reading the story, I'm like, how the f do you get a yacht in Vegas? Anybody that can explain this to me, please let me know. A yacht in Vegas. On a yacht in Vegas. I hope y'all hearing me. Has anybody ever been to Vegas? No, they ship water into Vegas. 
There is no water, it's a desert in the middle of nowhere. Bugsy Siegel said he wants to put a casino in the middle of the desert, in the middle of nowhere, and it's going to be, and the people didn't believe him. They had like maybe a one or two, three million dollar out of plan, and something went wrong, and they ended up them thinking that he was lying. And he was double, and he was playing the people like he was no good. And to this day, everybody's going to Vegas. So one thing I want y'all to know, hey, tell Mike, one thing I want y'all to know is the dude who had the plan to make Vegas Vegas, his vision was definitely real because Vegas is real. To this day, Floyd Mayweather, shout out Bugsy Siegel. Don King, shout out Bugsy Siegel. Don't never let the man fall and don't realize his struggle. Bugsy Siegel had to make Vegas, but people don't understand that. MGM, I don't want to keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on, because people keep asking certain things. You be like, damn, man, certain things people want to know. You be like, if I, I can't tell you that kind of stuff. Nah, buy the book. Everybody who keep talking never bought a book. And so I be looking at them like, damn, you want to talk about him, but you never supported me. I've been trying to just say something for a long time. And we just getting on it. I'm like, damn, you know how they say Christopher Columbus discovered America? I feel like I'm the Christopher Columbus or the Harriet Tubman in the situation, but then everybody wanted to steal my joy. I be like, yo, mention me. Say something real, man. It's 100, man. It's going to be all right. But, oh boy, I did mine is in the store somewhere, but I didn't have the signed copy. It's going to be all right. Every, every, I didn't really read the comments, but everyone, I don't really need people's support financially to have support. You know, not financially. Um, let me see. I don't really need support financially to, 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 to feel you as a person. Um, financial support is definitely something that's cool, but when you're financially able, that means you're able to maneuver and do things with your hands and mind. Hey, what's up, y'all? So that was Mark Curry, and he used to be assigned to Bad Boy Entertainment. He used to be a rapper over there, and he ghost wrote a lot of songs for Diddy. And currently today, he's working as a carpenter. And what I like about that is he doesn't just want to sit around in the hood and do nothing. He actually got a job. But on the other side, he should be a multi-millionaire because he wrote so many songs for Diddy. But he, he, he signed a bad deal with Diddy and Bad Boy Entertainment. That's why he's not a millionaire today. And him and Gene Deal have been exposing Diddy for the past couple of years. And now we got Cassie, now we got Tiffany Red as well, a songwriter who used to write for Diddy. And now we got so many people exposing Diddy, and it does not look good for Diddy right now. So make sure to leave a comment, like this video, and watch next videos. I got for y'all.